Yo, what is going on guys? It's the one and only one Hennis, and today I am bringing another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video over here onto Doom Tasty's channel. Now today guys, what you're going to be watching is a unique nuclear gameplay. Now you guys know Tasty has been bringing you guys these unique nuclears all throughout the lifespan of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And not only has he brought you these unique nuclears, but he's also brought you really high kill gameplays. Gameplays where he's gotten multiple nuclears in a single game. Gameplays where he's gotten world's first and world's records with really cool DLC weapons. But in my personal opinion guys, Guys, I really do like commentating and really like watching these unique nuclear gameplays because usually they focus on an aspect of the game that not a lot of people pay attention to and so there's a lot of creativity that actually goes into not only coming up with these nuclears but then also having the skill to go ahead and get them so the unique nuclear you guys are gonna be watching in the background here right now is actually a switch button layout after every single kill nuclear he's playing domination here on the map combine now just the simple fact that tasty is so comfortable with the ps4 controller that he manages to switch between each button layout and then know what each change to each button does and manages to sort of rewire his brain that allows him to still be comfortable using the controller and still go ahead and get kills is just mind-boggling to me. I don't know if you guys have ever seen me play on a controller, but it's absolutely horrific. Even if I know what each button does, let alone being able to switch the button layout and then trying to keep up with the buttons being switched and also getting kills. And the simple fact that he's playing on the map Combine here too really goes to show not only how fast he manages to switch this as well, but how good his gun skill must be. Because when you're playing on a map like Combine, it is one of the smallest maps in the game. And so he doesn't have the luxury or the advantage of being able to play on a map like maybe Stronghold, Infection, or Redwood where he has a little bit more space. He can maybe seclude himself in the back of the map or maybe choose routes that aren't as popular so he can guarantee himself to only be in one or two gunfights when he does actually confront a group of people but when you're playing on a map like combine like i said the map's so small so odds are you're going to be running into a lot of people so just a crazy gameplay here by doom tasty that i really hope you guys all will go ahead and enjoy if you guys do please be sure to go ahead and smack the like guys this guy has been blowing up here through the life cycle of black ops 3 i think his channel really did start to take off i would say around the second or third iteration of dlc weapons that are added into the black market and the reason he blew up so much is because he started to get world record gameplays and world's first nuclear gameplays with these new DLC weapons. So this is definitely someone you guys are going to want to be paying attention to as we move into Infinite Warfare. Just the sheer fact that he has this much grind and this much willpower to go ahead and continue to push out these gameplays for Black Ops 3 really goes to show his motivation and his true love for Call of Duty. So hopefully you guys will go ahead and subscribe to his channel as well if you guys are new. Be sure to come check me out if you guys do enjoy the commentary. My link will be down there in the description below. I'm on that road to 17,000 subscribers and every little piece of support does of course as always mean the world to me but without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's get right into today's commentary topic so because this is a unique nuclear gameplay i figured what we go ahead and talk about is the possibility of unique nuclears returning into call of duty infinite warfare because as of recording this commentary it is actually october 4th so we are 10 days away exactly from the release of the infinite warfare beta and what's really cool actually is earlier today i got a chance to play the modern warfare remastered campaign on ps4 which just looks absolutely gorgeous and i'm really excited to see that game come this november as well. It's pretty cool that we're essentially getting two Call of Duties in one year. But besides the point, the idea of unique nuclears coming back into this game is really important in my eyes because when you look at a YouTuber like Tasty or even a YouTube channel like Doom Clan or a YouTube channel like Carnage Clan, it's really important to be able to have creativity within Call of Duty to go ahead and get these special gameplays because if you guys haven't been in the Call of Duty community for an extremely long time, you may not know that sort of towards the beginning of these Call of Duty releases, pretty much every video that people upload is going to be classified as a world record or world's first gameplay that's just simply because the game hasn't been out for that long so pretty much anything that anyone gets is a world record if it's just one more kill than someone else managed to get three hours ago or if it's you know slightly faster than someone managed to get two hours ago so it's really important when we have these unique nuclear gameplays because it allows people to not only go for something that's world's first or world record because those can get kind of boring in a little bit of a sense but when you have something that's unique something where you throw in a little bit of a twist it really allows the gameplay to be much more interesting and it really can can keep the pub snapper, the player, enjoying Call of Duty more. Just to give you guys some examples of some other unique nuclear gameplays, there was a scoreboard on all the time nuclear gameplay where you had to keep the scoreboard up on the screen for the entire gameplay while you're getting 
the nuclear. And another really cool nuclear by Casey that was just uploaded yesterday was the switch sensitivity after every kill nuclear in Black Ops 3. So in my opinion, these unique nuclears are really important for the Call of Duty community. But I want to know what you guys think down there in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys will go ahead and enjoy today's gameplay. If you guys did, please be sure to go ahead and smack a like. That would definitely mean a lot to me. Subscribe to Doom Tasty's channel if you guys are new. Come check out my channel if you guys have not done so already. And anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming as always. Stay cool. Adios.